So someone asked me why I use so many workspaces. So I thought I would actually make a video about why I like workspaces so much because I wasn't always this way. In fact, there was a time when I was a KDE fanboy and I was fairly new to Linux and instead of using workspaces, I just had all my windows on my two monitors and they were piled on top of each other. It was a bloody mess. It was absolutely horrible. And I am so glad those days are behind me. Now, I wouldn't be what you'd call the most organized of pr people. Like, I'm really not. Like, I try to be. I try to be very organized, but I mostly fail. But in my attempts at trying to be organized, one of the things that I've come to realize is that I really like to have things in their place. At least on my computer. Like, I'm, I'm a very much a, a... I would say I'm much more organized in my digital life than I am in other places in my life. That's for sure. But on my computer, I enjoy having things in their place. And I like to have a place for everything. So that's the reason why I like workspaces so much. Because it allows me to assign actual dedicated screens. So in this case, I'm talking about like virtual screens to a certain task. So for example, right now, if I t showed you this, you could see that I'm recording my audio in Audacity. Right? This is Audacity. And there's nothing special about it, but I always, always, whenever I have this application open, I have it on Workspace 6 on this monitor. I know exactly where it's at. I can always go to it. Now, I also have OBS open on my other monitor on Workspace 16. Those workspaces never change. I'm so used to having it in those two places, I know that's where they're at. I never have anything else on those two workspaces. And... That's just the way it works best for me. Now, on the other workspaces, I'm not as rigid on what goes there, except for certain ones. So on Workspace 1, I always have an instance of Firefox. So in this case, I have Firefox open. And this is where an instance of Firefox always lives, right? I will sometimes have Firefox open on another workspace as well, if I have to have things side by side. But I always have one thing of Firefox here, so I know that that's the case. Workspace 2, which I'm not going to show you because it probably has some of uh, my actual work on there. I'm going to leave that uh, kind of behind the veil, if you will, just be a little bit more mysterious. That's where I pretty much do all of my writing, is workspace number 2. Workspace 3 is usually a terminal of some kind. Uh, you, I'm either creating a video, in this case it was for a video about the most important Linux commands you'll ever see. That video will be coming up soon. It's recorded. It's hilarious. I was so much of an asshole. It's not even funny. But that's beside the point. Re Workspace 3 is almost always a terminal. Workspace 7 is usually something where I'm reading something. So if I have a PDF open, in this case I do, uh, I have that open up on 7. Now, I'm only using, on this workspace here, I have a total of nine workspaces. I'm only using five, okay? That's usually around average. I use between five and seven workspaces per monitor. That's usually where I'm at. I have a few extras that aren't usually used for anything, but I like having extras just in case I want to put something there. Uh, I could probably be okay with 14 workspaces. That's usually about the absolute max I ever use at one time is 14. On this monitor here, I always use more workspaces than on this one because on workspace 19, I have Discord on all the time. That's where Discord lives. Workspace 18, I always have Crusader. That's where Crusader lives. It's always there. Workspace 10, which is the first workspace on this monitor, I have my to-do list and I have ZimWiki. Those things are always there. The other workspaces on this one usually are a combination between other instances of Firefox. I usually always have one or two because I'm, you know, working on a project or something and I need something on this screen that's not on this screen. I don't want to move this version of Firefox over somewhere else because I know that's where it's, you know, supposed to go. And so I have some of those here. Uh, also, I have some other terminal things. If I'm, you know, ricing or something, chances are I'll have a terminal over here. Uh, or if I'm creating notes for a video or whatever, those things go on other workspaces on this monitor over here. So, as you can tell, my workflow is not a standard workflow by any means. I'm okay with that. I understand that most normal people don't have 20 workspaces. Good for those people. You know, I'm happy for you. If you can live with just one or two or three workspaces, good for you. You know, that's your workflow. That's what work makes sense for you. But for me, I like workspaces a lot. And I like to have places for 
things. And I like to assign things to certain workspaces. That's the way I've been working now for two or three years. And it'd be really hard for me at this point. Like, And it is actually, when I use a, a, a window manager that only has like nine workspaces, like let's just say Qtile or Xmonad, those by default only come with nine workspaces. You can make them have more, but by default you get nine. That's all you get. And it's shared between two monitors. So you don't get like, like DWM gives you nine, but it gives you nine on each monitor. So uh, you're golden there, or at least I'm golden there. But on the other ones, you only get nine total. And I find myself very constrained. Like I'm always running out of workspaces. Like even if, right, like almost instantaneously, I'll open up, I'll, I'll turn on the computer and get all my stuff set up. And all but one workspace is full. Like it has stuff. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, Matt, you could put more than one window on a workspace. That's true. And sometimes I do. So sometimes I have a, like in, in this case, on the OBS screen, I have a terminal and OBS open up at the same time. If I'm making a video and I need the notes right there in front of me, I usually, I can do that. You know, sometimes I do that. Most of the time, though, I just want one thing on a workspace. It's just easier. It's bigger. You know, my eyesight's not that great, so I can zoom in all I want without having to deal with weird wrapping of text and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I prefer to just have one thing on a workspace. It just works better for me. So to the person who has asked me why I use so many workspace, that's the reason why. Uh, again, I don't probably need 19 or 20 workspaces. I could do with 14. The problem comes in with key bindings. So the way I have it work right now, and, and the reason why I like i3 so much is because with i3... You can set a dedicated key binding to every single workspace you have, no matter how many workspaces you've created. So you can create as many workspaces as you want. There's no limit, which is <laughs> my kind of works, my kind of window manager. But you can also create a key binding for every single one that you create. So I have super one through nine will interact with the workspaces on this monitor. Alt one through nine or all, 0 through 9 does the workspaces on this monitor here. And because they're segmented into 1 through 9 and 0 through 9 over here, they kind of line up with the number row. row. Like the, there's 0 through 9 and then 1 through 9 are basically the same range of numbers, and it just makes it easier. When I, ha I for a little while, a few weeks ago, I tried to cut it down. I tried to tone down the addiction, and I went to 14 workspaces. It was fine, but then I had 1 through 7 over here and 8 through 14 over there. And then assigning those two different key bindings messed with my brain. Because I, I had the Windows key 1 through 7 for over here. And then I had the Alt key 1 through 7 over there. And those numbers didn't line up. So Alt plus 1 was the 8th workspace. And that messed with my head. Like... I like the, the number on the keyboard to associate with the workspace that I'm changing to, if that makes sense. So in my case, Alt-0 goes to workspace 10. There's no 10 key, so 0 is the closest I get to. Same thing for anything above that. It's Alt-1 goes to 11, Alt-2, 12, so on and so forth. It, it still makes a little, a little bit sense. You know, when, they, when they don't match up, it kind of messed with my head. So I eventually went back to 19 workspaces. So that is why I use so many workspaces and kind of how I manage them. If you're interested in seeing like the, the config files, all of my dot files are on my GitHub. You can find that link in the video description. You can follow me on Twitter at the Linuxcast. You can uh, follow me on Mastodon or any of the other social media networks. Uh, those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Linuxcast. I'd like to thank my current patrons, Robert, Sid, Devon, Patrick, Fred Kramer, TriDevil, Meglin, Jackson, Nathan Tool, Steve A, Separate Guy Linux, Garrick, Samuel, KB, TGB, Keith, Andy, Uncle Bonehead, Gary, Antoine, Mitchell, J Doug, Carbon Data, Jeremy Sean, Odin, Marnie, Ross, Eduardo, Art Center, Elliot, Mizlov, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, Peter A, Crucible, Dark Benefit, Primus, TM, Arlock One, and Philip. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.